Well, hello. So I may be 20 hours late to this, but I haven't actually watched Behind the Sims. I know that stuff packs are coming back, A, because it's in the title, and B, because I have seen Twitter. I don't really know much about anything, though, and it's kind of sucky because my internet, if you didn't see my previous short video, has been on and off a lot and also very, very slow. So much so that I couldn't even update The Sims 4 because it would have taken an eternity. So I'm here now. I'm going to react to Behind Behind the Sims so I'm just gonna watch it and react and comment on things here and there and of course this is on the Sims YouTube channel if you want to check it out without me talking at any point but let's hit play and find out what we are actually going to be looking forward to. Welcome back to Behind the Sims, our community series dedicated to giving you peeks into all that is happening across the Sims franchise. In case we haven't had the pleasure, I'm Mercy from the Sims team, and I'm back at it again. I really I'll like her. news and latest updates on what's going on behind the scenes. Just perfect. Starting with the Sims 4. Ah! Attention Simmers! This is not a drill! This is not a drill! Get ready, because a new season is starting, and if you're like me, you're hungry to learn more. Mm -hmm. So, let's take a look at some of the stuff the team's been cooking up. I'm actually surprised that they are doing stuff like they have this The Sims 4. What? Home Chef Hustle? Ah, uh, stuff packs. It's been a while. Well, I'm happy to share that there's a new stuff pack on the menu, and it's my privilege to introduce you to just a few of the newest members of Maxis that are developing it. Tervetuloa Simmers, welcome. This is your first look at the Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. Mm. The team has been hard at work to bring this pack to life. Our new teammates in Europe have been working closely with longtime members of the Sims team to learn about and innovate on how we make packs. You'll see lots of new faces today, but some familiar as well, like Graham and Cheyenne, who's going to talk about the art direction of Home Chef Hustle. The artist and I were inspired by the beautiful kitchens in various areas of Europe and reference shared with us from our EU teammates. We wanted Ooh. to bring some new colors and fresh Ooh. new objects in addition to our new appliances. Also ingenious oh, things that we don't have been. here in North America, like a dish drain over the sink. There is a whole lot of stuff in this stuff pack. <gasps> new small appliances, new ways to make money, new ways of cooking, new BB, new casts, and so much more. Ooh, okay, that's exciting. Listing all here and now would be a bit of a mouthful, but the team and I know the perfect feature to start with. They are lacking your a bit something quick, but delicious for breakfast, brunch, or dessert. <gasps> The waffle maker is the perfect appliance. Oh my god, that's cool. With this feature, we wanted Logo. to represent the Nordic style of waffle that I and some of my other teammates grew up with. It's a quite thin and crispy waffle, and it's usually made in a waffle iron that produces heart-shaped waffles. I want one. We have included a variety of flavors, from some more typical Nordic-inspired flavors, like cured fish and dill, to some more familiar to our North American friends, like chicken and waffles. Brandy. We've added so many recipes from many cultures over the years, but over time, the recipe list has become a little trickier to use. So we've heard you and we've added filters to the base game recipe <gasps> list so you can now find the meal you're looking for in a fraction of the time. Base game? Oh. We were trying to Love bring that. together everything and categorize things in a way that made sense with the Sims traits and responses to the food in mind. The updated recipe UI isn't the only thing coming to the base game alongside this pack. Hashtag free the cupcakes. Get ready to cook cupcakes in the comfort of <gasps> your own oven rather yes. than the cupcake machine. In this pack, I mostly worked on cute accessories and casual clothes for your foodie sims. There's a whisk themed set of earrings and necklace. I'm really cute. fond of this jumpsuit combo <gasps> I made because it's definitely something I would wear in real life. We've had so much fun developing this pack and we have put a lot of heart into each of its features. Like we hope you enjoy the experience of becoming a home chef. Thank you so much for tuning into our first look. And now here's a little sneak peek. Seneke, Belindi. Oh, a new stool. Yabo. Oh. You're making me want waffles now. <laughs> waffles, so good. It looks like pancakes. Not you, Bob. I'm finally getting the competition they deserve. The Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle trailer reveals this Thursday, September 14th at 8 a.m. Oh, that's the schedule. YouTube channel. 
8 a.m. Uh, so it's and like 4 p.m. Isn't that just yet? World. This season is all about the hustle. So the team has been bustling to not only deliver a new stuff back, but provide a bit more to list the content this season. Oh, actually, if it is that video and it's four o'clock, that means I'm not at work, which means I can hope you do a live reaction to it. So that's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's really making more waffles. I don't have a machine. So sad. Stuff back, yeah. Neighborhood. Wait, what? <laughs> whoa, 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 sorry, what? What was that? One neighborly expansion pack. One neighborly expansion. What could that mean? Neighborly. Oh, could we maybe get some stuff like pranking? <laughs> <laughs> like in the Sims 3 we should have pranked like tall bell down. <laughs> okay. I'm loving this pastel colours. Hmm. So we're back on the bed for another s'more lore where we bite into the many histories and mysteries of the Sims series, and today is all about Johnny Zest and the land grab lineage. Oh. S'more lore. <laughs> You know, the estranged member of the Landgraf family and everyone's second favorite Nubu daddy, all because he dropped out of school to become a comedian. Uh, man. <laughs> but before we go more into Johnny, let's dive into the Landgraf lineage for some context. The Landgrafs don't have the best reputation. Some are known for being quite evil. <laughs> but even with the family tree dating back to the original Sims, their history isn't totally clear. We do know it started with the medieval Demetrius and Dossi or Dacian, Dacian, and it's no secret that the Landgrads are rich. They're rich, rich, like rich. old money rich. But they didn't oh, yeah. get there without being sketchy. Ever Busting wonder out. how they got all that money? Uh -huh. Well, their name tells us a lot. Landgrab, as in grabbing up land. The Landgrads always have mansions. From the Blue Water Village home, to Summerhill Court, to Chateau de Landgrab tomb, and the Desert Oasis Mansion. You know, <laughs> just to name a few. Okay, so let's get back let's to Johnny Zest. How is he related to the Landgrabs anyway? Johnny doesn't appear until The Sims 4 in Oasis Springs, where we mm. never see him living with the family. And he doesn't even have the same last name, although he does go by his stage name. <laughs> but still, what's his connection? Is he Nancy's son from an affair? A long lost relative? Does Joffrey know? All <laughs> we know is that after Johnny was disowned and went broke, he set out to get sweet revenge on his family by making some furniture out of materials from their construction site. Maybe stick to comedy, Johnny. <laughs> so it begs the question, will the Landgrads ever invite Johnny back into their family? Will we ever find out how he is even related to them in the first place? Who knows? But maybe as this universe continues to grow, we'll discover the truth. And if we do, we'll enjoy another s'more while looking more into the lore of this neighborly expansion pack. <laughs> So, so, I'm Samuru Pedro, and I'm back to tell you about what's coming next in The Sims Mobile. So, let's Where get to play it. With these? We're celebrating Halloween, 100 years of Hollywood, and a brand new story that revolves around a garden gnome and a bickering couple. So, <laughs> make sure to check it out. And there's more too, awesome stuff waiting for you, so make sure to download The Sims Mobile today. And now, let's take a look at what's coming next in The Sims Replay. Because, We're like... celebrating Day of the Dead. Your Sims can feast, drink, the only issue I have with mobile games is obviously you have a limited time that you can play unless you buy stuff with microtransactions, which I fully understand why, because obviously they're free to play and they have to make money somehow. Um, but I find it just so frustrating and it kind of puts me off. Like, it's just me. I just, any sort of mobile game, I will play for a while and then I'll just kind of forget they're on my phone and then delete them. I do have like Tower of Fantasy and that on my phone as well, but I just play it on my PlayStation, so. Same with The Sims, I'd rather just play on my PlayStation or PC. Dance and play music uh, with your loved ones. I do appreciate the amount of work Special thanks to our EA creator, creator awesome. Michiro, for suggesting this festive theme. Also, to don't forget to check coming. out our new update, Pastel Pastimes, with incredible items and outfits featuring soft and dreamy yeah, views. Yeah, some of the stuff they have, we don't have. So make sure to download The Sims Replay and experience <laughs> all this goodness. And now, back to you, Mercy. Simlish. Oh god, let's try this. All right, before we continue, it's time for a new Simlish word of the day to add to your ever-growing dictionary. My goal is to have you all fluent in Simlish, so let's learn the second most important phrase you'll need to know next to Sulsul, which is 
Yabhuguru. This means yeah, I'm hungry, a term I often use to let my bosses know that it's time for a break. For example, hey boss, with all this food around me, yab huguru, so I'm gonna take a lunch break after this, courtesy of The Sims. <laughs> had to have some more okay. <laughs> I'm super excited to have The Sims Queen mother herself, Lindsay Pearson, back today to chat with me about Project Renee and the future of The Sims. Yeah, so, so that's Lindsay, interesting stuff hey, about Renee. I am very excited to be here today, and soul soul to our community. I am thrilled to be back and sharing what we are working on. I think it's a really good time to be playing The Sims. Oh, 100%. I wonder if it's going to take Maybe over my ball Maybe it's just the way I play, play, but my game really hits yeah, different each time. Can you tell us more about how your experience over the years is shaping and setting the stage for Project Renee? Yeah, over the years, you've seen us introduce so many versions of Sims experiences, from The Sims to The Sims Online, The Sims Castaway, The Sims Medieval, Herbs. Again. So we're always looking for ways to bring The Sims to more players and keep that charming character and creation center at the heart of what we make. What must we preserve to make this still a Sims game? And what can we do in this game that we couldn't do before? Hmm. Right. So during the last episode of Behind the Sims, the team shared a look at a whole lot of work in progress with Project Renee. Is that how you're trying to find that new vibe? Yeah. Exactly. And with Project Renee, we want to do things from the start that The Sims hasn't ever done and try to do familiar things in a new way. So Project Renee will be a new way to play The Sims. Now, we've shared a few of those differences that we're already exploring, such as the ability to play with friends and across devices. I think that's and we really can't cool. wait to show you more of the gameplay itself. I'm excited and I'm that. really excited to be building this new and different approach. Project Renee and The Sims 4 are going to continue to exist side by side. I'm we plan to support that. both at the same time. <gasps> Ooh. And we're going to continue to bring even more Good. exciting content to The Sims 4 for the foreseeable future. Because that's the only thing I dislike about The Sims 3 is that they built The Sims 3. The Sims 3 went on for so long. Um, the Sims 3 still has a lot of issues. And I actually have a video on my channel about The Sims 3 Island Paradise. And I have a beefy computer which can play all of The Sims 4 packs, including all of the expansion. Um, stuff packs, kits, everything, as well as a ton of CC, a ton of mods, and it runs. But I couldn't play The Sims 3 and two packs with Island Paradise included, and I couldn't play in that world. It froze and wouldn't work. So I feel like having them say and actually putting it out there now that they're going to support both of them at the same time still, I'm really happy about that because I was worried that they'd make this new game and then kind of be like, yeah, The Sims 4 is done with whatever. And then if we ever had any issues, they wouldn't like kind of worry about it anymore. So I'm really happy to hear that they are going to be doing them both side by side. And I am actually excited for Project Renee. Whether or not I play it straight away, I'm not sure because if it's going to be like a hefty price tag, I'll probably wait. I did with The Sims 4. I played the demo of The Sims 4, but I didn't actually play the, the actual game itself until like a year or so or a bit later because obviously a lot of things were missing. Obviously there was bugs, which happens with every single game. And I never really like playing with base games or stuff. I like it when they've got a bit more stuff added in. Um, and I was playing a lot of The Sims 3 back in the day because I was taking photos and everything and using them on a Sim account and I was role playing with people. And that's kind of how I really got more into The Sims 3 because of that experience. And then starting to play The Sims 4 and with the mods I've got, I just absolutely love playing it because it's just, so much more and it runs so much better than The Sims 3. That's the thing that always sets me back with The Sims 3 is that it crashes a lot for no reason, it lags a lot and you can't play certain packs. <laughs> Whereas The Sims 4, even though it has its faults, don't get me wrong, with some bugs and things that we should have had from the beginning and other things that we are still missing which we should have, um, I still think it's one of the better games. I do like The Sims 2 but again I have issues running that sometimes because it's an older game which obviously happens now. And I actually do want to play some of The Sims 1 and I've got to try and figure out how to install it. And if I can, I'm actually excited for that because I haven't played The Sims 1 in so long and it's so hard to play. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'll stop talking. Don't get me wrong. I'm super invested in my Sims 4 storylines. But thinking about the different opportunities we've seen in like The Sims Castaway and Herbs, which, by the way, one of my absolute favorites. It just makes me excited to think about how I'll pop into Project Renee to play with friends. I like The Sims Herbs. Um, but I never really got into it too much. I didn't really like how you played 
the um, sort of jobs where it was like pressing buttons in a certain order. I never really liked that and that kind of put me off the game because it felt like a phone based game. Um, the Sims Castaway though, as you may know I did do a challenge on this channel recently with the Castaway challenge that someone made up and even though it didn't go smoothly um, it was really fun and I do actually kind of want them to do a sort of new fresh look or new fresh take on the Sims Castaway. I feel like doing something like that would be a good way to branch out to reach new players because that game is so old now it's hard to find but with like the new art style and the new sort of software and everything we have now. I think if they were to actually do a full fresh story of a castaway series or something, it'd be really, really fun. We want to make it super easy for your friends to come and join you. So we'll actually have more to share about what multiplayer will look I'm like excited for that, in the year ahead. But I want to talk about one way specifically that we're going to make it as easy as possible to join. So we intend for Project Renee to be free to download. That's insane. And that means that when it's ready and fully open to our players, you'll be able to join and play and explore Project Renee without a subscription, without core game purchase what? or energy mechanics. So we want it to be easy for you to That's invite fun. or join with okay. a friend. I will try and that means it. That extending an open invitation for everyone to play. Really bombastic side eye. We're developing this game in a different way <laughs> and we're bringing everyone along with us. And that means a lot of different phases of development, which can include everything from closed invites and small public tests to large scale early access options. And yes, mm -hmm. when Project Renee is ready, it'll be available to download for free. So what does that mean? So that means it's going to be a lot like, I hate to like reference this again, but like Tower of Fantasy. So it's free to play. It's going to get loads of updates, loads of things probably gonna have of course is gonna have microtransactions and that worries me because of the phone games where it's free to play but obviously you're still limited with how much energy in that you have to then have to stop playing for a while which in a way i understand with mobile games because if not you're gonna have, continue to have that tiny screen in your face all day and it's not good um but i'm hoping that not gonna do something along the lines of okay you can play for two hours but now all of your energy is gone and you've got to buy this in order to continue so i hope that's not going to be the case but by what they're saying it doesn't seem like it will be um but i'm super excited about the fact that we will be able to play with our friends anywhere anytime and also be able to play the same game across several platforms this is very exciting like the fact that you could play on your pc and then possibly have it on your ipad macbook or laptop phone as well so you can have it on the go of course it's probably going to need internet access i reckon which is not a huge issue but i love the idea that i won't have to take like a whole computer with me just to be able to play it somewhere else that's really cool for content in the game like updates also will it be able to be cross compatibility with consoles that's interesting to me because a lot of time that isn't a thing so that'd be interesting to see if it will be or whether or not it will be but it will be a different sort of like it will be the same again as Terra fantasy it's compatible on pc and mobile but then not compatible with the playstation it's its own server so we'll see we want to focus on building something strong and cohesive from the start. So it definitely won't start with everything you have in The Sims 4. That's fair. But we're going to add new experiences and content to Project Renee over time. Okay, so what might that look like? We talking DLC, packs? Well, beyond regular updates to the core game, we will sell content and packs. Okay. But we want to change that mix a little bit. So let me give you a theoretical example. In The Sims 4, the only way to experience any weather was if you purchased seasons, right? Now in Project Renee, we might introduce basic weather to the core game for free for everybody. And then a pack okay. for purchase might be focused on winter sports and could include activities like ice dancing or a snowman building competition. Right. So building this way means that down the line, we could use wind or rain or clouds for other pack themes as well. Now it's a little early to know exactly where we'll draw the lines, but it's important for us to lower those barriers to play and give everyone the broadest shared systems because that feels like the best foundation to grow from. Okay, so me probably overthinking here, but from what she was saying just there, sorry, I keep pausing it. I'm just kind of want to like actually make this a video where I'm like reacting and like saying things rather than just me sitting here quietly watching the video because a lot of people have obviously already done this live. Um, but what she's kind of saying there, and I might be obviously overthinking it as I say, and obviously this is very early on and we don't know exactly what's going on. Even they don't know what's going on. Uh, but what she was obviously saying is that the um, weather will come for everybody, 
but then they'll have packs that come out that you buy to have certain things that go with these certain free items. So for example, as she said about, you know, we'd have snow probably in the base game for free, but then if you want to do winter sports, you have to buy a pack. That concerns me along the lines of, rather than get a seasons pack, where you get everything included, so fun activities to do in every single season, does that mean we'll have four packs? So we have to buy four packs to have winter, spring, fall, and summer stuff in different packs. And if that is so, I hope they don't put the price tag up too high because then that would be insane. I mean, I hate to think how much I've spent on The Sims 4. Like it actually, <laughs> when I look at how many packs I have and if you start to even add up a couple, you're like, okay. So yeah, I don't want to have to come, like be a couple of years into playing Project Renee and then realizing how much I've spent on four packs just to be able to do everything in seasons. So again, very early on, we have no idea what's going to happen further down the line. It was just an example, but I'm just saying I hope they don't do it so that there's so many packs that you have to buy to have the full experience of the game. And also, if that means that you have to buy packs, is this going to be a mainly based computer game or PlayStation or Xbox game? And then you can just sort of log in and free play? Because uh, I don't know how that would work if you don't have the packs on every single device. So that's kind of interesting to think about. I mean, I'm not very good. I'm not like savvy with all this kind of stuff. Like, I don't know whether or not it'd be like you're logging into an account and using an account and that's how you have all the access to everything, which I guess is probably how it would work. Um, so you'd have everything on say your PC and then you can just log into your account and play on your phone. So that'd be really interesting. But then also with, that how would it run really well so that's really i'm really interested to see where this all goes and i'm excited for it because that's i feel like really it could be really really good i will definitely need to think about this some more and i'll need to review this all again on the sins news i do like Shout how they are really explaining the stuff though i so really as appreciate we shared that. last time we're still exploring a lot of different ideas and we haven't settled on all the details of everything but it's important for us to keep sharing so stay tuned for more updates as we go but for now how about a quick summary so project renee and other sims games including the sims 4 will coexist for the foreseeable future it means Project Renee is not setting out to replace your current awesome Sims experiences. Thank God. And because we want everyone to join the Sims party when it's ready, Project Renee will be free to download. Well, thank you so much for your time, okay. Queen Mother. I, I love can't that. wait to keep learning more about Project Renee, so know that you are always welcomed on our couch. Oh, thank you, Mercy. Cool, Pleasure to be here. Because I've seen they're not, they're not saying anything this about This is a Renee. top secret announcement. The Sims is officially <laughs> putting out merch, you know, so you can show off looks while showing the world your Simmer status. Now, you know that I already know. And no, this won't be like past <laughs> and <laughs> We're taking it slow to give you the merch you deserve, so it'll be available later this year. But while we're here, okay. let's take a little peek, shall we? Bye. Om Zagled, it's the perfect gift for that special someone. You know, Nancy doesn't do cheat, so this is going to be well made. Someone uh, give me the mother low cheat, because I'm going ham. I swear, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> OK. I kind of wanted to do like the headphones and that again. I used to have the headphones and mouse, but they broke. But they change color with the That's um, it for today. Remember emotion. to subscribe to The Sims YouTube channel and follow The Sims, The Sims Free Play, and The Sims Mobile across social to keep up to date on the latest oh, love news. Love the music. Probably going to hit coverage. And the like... Until next time. Dun dun! 5A, take one. It's oh, take three. Day, yeah. <laughs> next to Sul Sul, which is... <laughs> okay, I'm super excited to have The Sims Queen... Blah, blah, blah. I bit my tongue. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Should have that one in there. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> the new season is starting, and if you're like me, you're home. <laughs> I love how they add that in. Okay, so let's just have a quick look, shall we, at the actual Sims YouTube page here. Um, yeah, so there's a new video coming out tomorrow at 4 p.m. my time I live in the UK and yeah that will be the new pack so I'm excited for that I hope 
it's uh it's kind of crazy like i'm excited for the base game update at least where we have like better sort of categories um i do love the new plum bob that looks really cute in the corner um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just kind of me just talking i guess <laughs> but thank you for watching and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day goodbye